What is going on guys? Fatal Reaper Day bringing you guys video. We are talking about how to get dark matter camo. So I finally have got the max camo in about a month's time on Black Ops 6 here. And I finally got, of course, like I said, the dark matter camo on my pretty much favorite weapons. And I'm going to be talking today to you guys about how you can go through and get your camos. So obviously here we've got gold, diamond, dark spine, and what you need to get those. So do, do, uh, gold camo obviously takes two double kills, or double kill, ten double kills, excuse me. Diamond camo is three uh, kills uh, without dying. Dark spine is three triple kills or better, and dark matter camo is uh, basically three bloodthirsties, or, you know, five kills without dying three times, the equivalent to, again, three bloodthirsties with that specific weapon. So, I only have dark matter on the uh, weapons that I do like, so once you, of course, unlock dark spine, you do have to unlock dark spine for every camo, and then it gives you the unlock availability of unlocking dark matter camo on any weapon you choose. Now, again, I'm not unlocking dark matter camo on everything. I'm using it on my XM4, I've got it on my sniper rifles, because I do like sniping, quick scoping, and stuff like that. We're going to talking about in-depth. So, first of all, if you are going to unlock snipers, like I have in the first, uh, showed you the first camo, do make sure you're playing regular core Nuketown 24-7. Now, uh, if you're going to be unlocking, like, SMGs, pistols, and even ARs, I do recommend Hardcore Nuketown 24-7 or Hardcore Face-Off Mosh Pit. One of the two because they are smaller maps. Nuketown, of course, being the most familiar and the most people know, and, of course, it's just easier to get headshots and stuff like that. And this is, goes for any camo. This is not just Dark Matter. This is leading up to Dark Matter. But Dark Matter, specifically, of course, you need five Bloodthirsties. Um, hardcore is going to be the easiest to get that, and actually at the end of this video, I do unlock the Dark Matter camo for the C9 here, which is in the MP5, and I do get it there. Um, so, and again, that's towards the end of the video, I even start on another SMG. Again, I'm not doing Dark Matter for all my guns, but for the majority of them, the ones that I use particularly. Now, we're going to be talking about also, uh, like, um you know, your perks here, you're going to be wanting to use Recon. Recon is going to be your best perk. Now, do pay attention. Some some guns, some camos do require you to use uh, different types of perks. So do pay attention to that in the fine print on your special camos. Special camos. So be sure you're looking at that before. If So this if you already have gold and stuff, you don't have to worry about that. But that being said, I do recommend using Recon as your majority for your perks, that's going to be let you see through walls once you spawn in to see your enemies highlighted in infrared. It's going to be easier to go for them and get your kills and see if they're camping or anything like that. Another thing, of course, be sure you are using certain attachments. So, the biggest thing on SMGs is they have a problem of not hitting well sometimes uh, at long range. Do make sure you have long barrel and uh, um, FMJ. FMJ on every one of your weapons. I recommend that on snipers, where you're, whether you're playing core, hardcore, whatever. Make sure you're using FMJ. You're going to be able to shoot through walls, and it's going to get you those kills quicker and faster, more efficiently, and you can spray through walls while using the recon perk, as we just stated. Again, that being said, uh, I do I don't advocate for this, but you're going to have to sometimes to get your bloodthirsties. You're going to have to camp sometimes. So, like, for instance, here I've been camping their spawn, and I do get a bloodthirsty. Uh, so, do make sure that you kind of camp spawn sometimes. This is why I recommend Nuketown or Stakeout. Good note, I do believe this week there is an update happening for um, the new season, and or, uh, excuse me, just the... Uh, added to this new season since we got the battle pass of course like that they're adding a stakeout 24 7 that's going to be your bread and butter um, as well as domination here that we're having uh playing right here for playing and unlocking your camos stakeout is going to be the best map I'm just gonna let you guys know that i unlocked over three weapon classes that's assault rifles smgs and shotguns in just one weekend, uh, diamond camo on all of them. And that was on Stakeout 24-7, specifically Stakeout 24-7 uh, Hardcore. So again, I do recommend playing Hardcore, like I said, when you're doing your SMGs, shotguns even, um, on some cases. Um, you kind of have to play with it and, and more to you what, what, your, what your play style is, what's easier for you. As you can see here, I did just get the Dark Matter camo. I'm about to unlock it here. Um, I did get sporadic because I was like, come on, come on. You're always for that, you know, that last kill. And then, of course, Bloodthirsty. Um, like I said, three of those. And bam, we've got the Dark Matter camo. And then I do start another SMG afterwards. And you'll see at the end of the video why you should be using FMJ. Uh, so stay tuned for that. 
like I said, guys, that's pretty much the gist of it. That is pretty much how, what you're going to be doing. I've, I've said this again and again in multiple one of my videos. You can go back and watch us how to get diamond camo, dark spine. Now, I did get dark matter camo here within a month. So, a month's time, and I've already unlocked the master camo. I've never actually got the max camo on any Call of Duty until now. Um, I just really never gave it that much time and thought. I just really wanted it on this particular call, Call of Duty. I do think Black Ops 6 is a great game. Um, I do think some of the maps are a little eh, but, you know, hey. We got Newtown back, so that is one of my favorites. Um, that being said, guys, that is how you unlock Dark Matter Camo. That's going to be the best way you can for certain attachments. And going forward, if you want to see more in-depth on specific guns, like, hey, how do I get the sniper, something like that, I can do other videos on like that. If you guys want to know, just leave me some comments down below. Do be sure to like and subscribe, as always, guys. really helps out the channel here, so I can do more videos like this. Um, like I said, this is how you get Dark Matter Camo. Um, it's going to be the simplest way as hardcore or, uh, core if you're doing snipers, hardcore if you're doing SMGs and pretty much anything else for that matter. Uh, it's just going to be easier to get kills and stuff like that. That being said, guys, like I said, um, you know, if you have any questions, leave some comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and of course, watch out for Stakeout. Stakeout 24-7 is coming out with double XP. It's going to be a great time to level up your guns and stuff. Make sure you use an FMJ as well so you can shoot through walls and recon for your perks. And, of course, watch out for your playlist. Domination. Domination, another one. That's going to be the ending thing here. Make sure you are playing Domination at all times if you have the capability. Voting for the map. Even backing out if it's not Domination or uh, stuff, stuff like that. So, that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.